It's great to be. <laughs> I brought you guys this, this is a gift. It's a late gift. It's a, it's a pun. You don't have to open it. It's not a great pun, but it's last minute. And there's so many of you. You guys didn't get me anything, so. I think it's fine, right? Hello, he's telling me the importance of sage presence. Glad <laughs> 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 you like it. <laughs> I usually have a guitar and a songwriter too, so uh, I find tremendous comfort in having a microphone put in my genitals. <laughs> You never know when they might want to chime in. <laughs> what say. Being a songwriter is a lot like being a comedian, but it's kind of like songwriting is easy. You can say anything, and if it rhymes, you know, as long as it rhymes. If you're a comedian and you tell a joke, nobody would climb. <laughs> <laughs> I had a tough time finding a pair of socks today, but I found a pair of pants on the first try. <laughs> and underpants. I guess I'm just really, I'm just super skilled. <laughs> you guys are thinking that doesn't make sense because underpants is a singular. <laughs> but you know, that's what doesn't make sense really because underpants, it should be underpant. <laughs> Right? Am I right? Somebody agrees with me out there. I love to tell jokes that one person out of a hundred gets. That's <laughs> Success. I realized the other day that we're living in the tens. You guys think about that? Like I was born in the 80s and the 90s. This is the tens right now. When they look back, they're going to be like, Oh, back in the tens. <laughs> Justin Bieber was just a musician back then, and it was a wild world. I guess the teens, really. We're in the teens. Which explains a lot of our behavior. <laughs> Give the century a break. It's only 16. I bet you did a lot of dumb shit when you were 16. <laughs> When I was 16, I thought saloon and salon were the same word. <laughs> tomato, tomato. <laughs> saloon, salon. When I was 16, I didn't know how to blow my nose. I thought you were supposed to make a noise, and, I, and when I blew through my nose, it didn't make a noise, so I would go... Because <laughs> my grandfather had a really big nose, and that's... He sounded like an elephant, but he blew his nose, and I thought I was doing it wrong. I was a sniffly teenager, but... Like just, let's just give it some time, right? It's a 16-year-old century. Just give it a break. Does anybody remember Freedom Fries? It was, uh, for those of you that aren't that old, there was in the Iraq War, the French decided they didn't want to participate, so the true patriots among us decided that instead of French fries, we were going to get Freedom Fries, which was tremendously successful. <laughs> they lost billions in revenue, I guess. And, uh... So in that vein, I was just thinking about... <laughs> <laughs> One felt left out. <laughs> so I was thinking instead of the trumpet, we should call it the tolerance horn. 
Do you ever find yourself wondering if people are going to laugh at the end of this sentence? <laughs> I do like to give it, you know, look on the bright side, so I made a list of things that I learned this year. I know it's been a rough year for a lot of people, but I learned a lot. So I can tell you a few of the things that I learned. I learned that Salon and Saloon are actually different words. <laughs> <laughs> I learned the human body is 70% water, but that doesn't really help you when you're thirsty. <laughs> I learned your boss doesn't like it when you tell him you're going to get a haircut and come back drunk. <laughs> But then I realized something, and this is where it gets a little weird, and I hope you all are prepared for this, because you ever like think of something, and then after you think of it, you're like, why didn't I think that before? That's so obvious. It's definitely true. So I thought this was a joke when I started, but once I started thinking about it, it became painfully obvious that Winnie the Pooh is based on a bunch of drug addicts. Have you guys, you know Winnie the Pooh? So every character in Winnie the Pooh is on a different drug. He was fucked up. On what? Heroin, for sure. Of course. Right? Yeah. He's obviously on heroin. Of course. Winnie the Pooh and Piglet are both big potheads. Always have the munchies. <laughs> Where he's like stumbling around, getting their butts stuck in holes, and people get super paranoid, and what's a heffalump thing, he sees things like a woozle and a heffalump. <laughs> this will be really funny the next time we watch Winnie the Pooh, because it's probably been a uh, while, but trust me, it's pretty spot. Tigger, do I have to even... <laughs> Tigger. <laughs> Then there's Rabbit. <laughs> rabbit doesn't do drugs. Rabbit is on the straight and narrow. Rabbit's kind of a dick, though. Rabbit needs to do some drugs. But one day, this is my big realization, and I hope you're right. One day, Rabbit dropped a shit ton of acid, like way too much. And I came to the realization that actually all of us are just part of his hallucination. Like, there's one of you out there that's rabbit having a hallucination of this. This isn't real. Do you think this, this isn't real? It's actually like the 1930s. David Bowie didn't die. David Bowie's not a real person. He's too beautiful for that. This is real. Keith Munzel's not. Look at him. How old is he? His hair says 50, but his soul patch says 49. <laughs> <laughs> the ice cream is in the mailbox. Yeah. I don't know what that is. <laughs> That's, that's your subconscious. So one of you out here that's listening to this shit, you, you have some subconscious thing and you're gonna come out of this trip in a couple days and be like, oh, I know what it means. How do you know what it means with that one dick? You know who you are. We're all just figments. Of some dick who leaves it. Like, I, I don't like it. Do you like it? I say, no. Some British douche who leaves ice cream in mailboxes? That, that's just annoying. I say we strike. <laughs> 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 <laughs>